Rumors of uncovered by the Lisa European of the Park. Because he said hello. Reincarnation of an old friend. We'd like, of course, to determine who his ancestors are in order to see whether we would like to approach the kid or not. I can't stop it in my mouth, though. So we love it. So we eat it. Ah, yeah, we see the grandparents of the child on the left side, of a well beloved HDS, and on the right, on early implementation of uh, Thomas Ockham's 342. 342 is a masterpiece that was available on very vintage systems already, like Palm OS, Pocket PCs, and many others. I had in 2000. 2002 already on my Palm Hansen C3 and a little bit later on my Nokia internet tablet. Anyone knows these devices? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. okay, three hands. <laughs> okay. 342 is still available on a huge variety of different systems. And your handheld and desktop systems. I'll have a look who the parents are. <laughs> we have Michael and David, the team of Swiss Micros. Swiss Micros is not a factory. This is just <laughs> <laughs> these two people. David does the software. He mostly likes to stay behind the curtain. And Michael does the hardware. So these are the two people. Not, not until it's... Most of you will know them already for their fine reincarnations of the voyages, either in credit card size or in original size. Not to, and to mention also the 41 and the 41L. Just a poll. Who's got these with one or one or more of these machines already? Oh, oh yeah. And we have some on the table as well. I guess a 15, 15, uh, DM15, I think. 15 and a 41. Oh, 41 also. Great. So curious about the baby. We have parents. Ta da! We have the 42p, not only on the screen. Is this an actual? Sure. You have one? Ah, look at this. Ooh. We have not just on the green, here. I'll pass it around. I'll pass it around. In a moment, back. but it needs still some explanation beforehand. Okay. But you have a fair view on it, how it looks like. Gorgeous, would I say. Does it turn on? All after it gets past I'll come to the deficiencies of the prototype later. Perhaps I should say, perhaps it sounds a little bit like a commercial item. Here. I'm not at all affiliated with those guys. I'm just the unpaid messenger. <laughs> just for the fun of it. I thought the audience was interested in having this presentation, so I approached Michael Steinmann. That is his name. Or okay, maybe continue to tell, can't talk about Michael. Uh, David, uh, for instance, he is from the Czech Republic. Michael is from Switzerland. Thomas Aachen is a Dutch, and I think French media is living in New York. This is a real global effort. <laughs> okay? So, when I approached uh, Michael to give a presentation, guess what? He quickly agreed to do so. He gave me the appropriate support, of course. 
talk about the major objectives of this development. Compatibility first, of course, and then some reasonable improvements, as you might expect, of a device 25 years after. Compatibility means to preserve from the original as much as possible and useful. Okay, size is not really a matter of compatibility, but it's a matter of acceptance, I guess. And you have seen already, the size is very similar. That your girlfriend won't mind, right? <laughs> Pocket size compatible. <laughs> okay. The size is smaller by some millimeters than the 42. The margins between the key rows are a little bit less, but that's hardly discernible. I have to change it. Okay. does an outstanding job when it comes to compatibility in terms of functions and programming with the P42S. So we have something that has proven its value already. It's not 100% compatible because 342 uses a different mass uh, library and there's a difference between the precision of 342 and the HP42S, and when your program relies on a certain precision, then you may experience a failure. But that would be bad programming, I think. <laughs> okay. So, programs for HP42S will run on the HP on the DM42P almost without corrections necessary. What? Gunters, what about uh, graphics? It will do what 342 does. Okay. Uh, I can't say now from the depth of my heart yeah. how that is on the 342. But okay. I think they, well, well, you have to look at the screen. Yeah. I'd say the potential of increased capability, graphics capability is there. It needs to be waited for. Yeah, years ago I wrote a little game program that, you know, would randomly put things. Get 342 on any device somewhere and check if it runs yeah. there. Yeah. But, but then you have a first indication uh, if it may happen or not. But this is the first 342 with that big a screen. This is a 342, yes, the biggest screen. And it's, well, 20, 25 years after, we are looking for some improvements, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not complaining. The user interface usually is as you are used to, but with some important enhancements, we come to them like that. The input and output. Lacking input-output capabilities is one of the greatest shortcomings of the HP42S. The DM42P will provide two separate ways for backup and restore. Either via the USB connectivity or via an SD card. You have a micro SD card slot. Here's a calculator. Just at the top of your calculator. The USB will provide power supply also, and that is necessary because SD card operations are really power hungry. And the CR2032 CR power cell will be depleted rapidly if you have access to the SD card through this uh, power cell. So SD card access only works while the calculator is powered 
via USB. Despite this limitation, I think this is one of the biggest improvements in case you need to resist. That SD card read write capability while in route, you could have one of these power banks with you. Or even better, have your smartphone, if it has got OTG capability, have the adapter cable, and then you go. Your smartphone certainly has much more capability than 200 milliamps. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, this is a limitation for SD card uh, access. Also, printing gives you a choice. Either traditionally via the IR to the your backup IR printers. What is it? HB H two two four zero A or B. All printing will be done onto the screen, like demonstrated here. The screen displays I show you today are mostly fake. Done on the screen by me with Corel Draw or Corel Paint or what I use. Memory. The HP42S only has 8K of RAM, more RAM, 32K were doable by the adventurous hobby maker. But I really believe that didn't make much sense because there was no backup and result capability once your HP42 had a crash, everything was done, and you had to type, to type in everything again manually. What a job! Now, having that backup and restore capability, lots of RAM. 100k RAM for the small calculator tells a different story. The flash memory was first of all utilized for the Intel math library. And because the built in flash on the board wasn't sufficient, 4 megabytes of flash were added externally. And the flash now is used, but just up here, the title of this conference, I think was a moving target, right? So, this is a moving target. While I talk here, <laughs> we're constantly developing the device to have it mature over time. So, the, the recent information I got after I did my presentation is they store permanently, permanently store retrieval programs and to store the, the current status to when shutting down the calculator. So the calculator can be switched off in a normal way and then in, the, in another step, the calculator later can be completely uh, shut down. You can take care of the power cell and everything. And when you wake up, if you wake it up again, it will restore the status you had the last time. I come to the other latest. The screen. From the pictures you've seen already, the, from the pictures you've already seen, that the screen differs from the 42S. Oh, that's quite obvious. That's quite obvious. The, the difference. The size of the screen is about 6 by 3.5 centimeters. It features a high, rather high resolution of 400 by 240 pixels. The dark pitch needs to be explained to our metric impaired, oh sorry, <laughs> metric <laughs> challenge people. <laughs> it's about 1 17th of an inch. It's not correctly, of course. Memory LCD 
V, what does it mean? Each pixel is controlled by one memory holding state with very little current. So there's no continuous refresh of the entire screen. It simply stays on as it is. Only those pixel rows where change is due, black to white or vice versa, needs to be altered. Consequently, the screen only needs 50 microwatt when operating in static mode, which is typical for the calculator, and less than 170 microwatt once changes have to be applied. Even with this low power characteristics, the response time of the memory LCD is fast enough to display motion video. Even then, it would need less than 175 microwatt. Well, I guess you're not going to see Netflix videos on the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim? So, Eric? So, so those, those specs are for the actual sharp display, but it doesn't count. There's a boost converter to produce five volts for the display. So the display actually consumes about twice that power, really. I'm hourly. I'm already impaired. I really didn't get what you uh, just said. Sorry. Sorry, Eric. That's all right. The, the, those figures are for the sharp display alone, but there's actually a boost converter to supply 5 volts for the display, so it actually draws about twice that current. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. He's got the stuff. Yes. Keep going. I'm uh, technically illiterate. Okay. <laughs> uh, on the thumb drive, you will find some documentation that describes uh, the technical specifics of the board, the screen, and so on. Okay, but at least you can certainly imagine that the screen provides for the capability to using various front with various fonts. This one is not a fake. This is a real picture to just show various uh, combinations of uh, foreground, background, dithered, display, and so on, various uh, font size, what have you. The screen provides for enough space to accommodate, for instance, a permanent menu line plus the fourth tab registers and perhaps even plus the last X register. We'll wait and see what, how that happens. In program mode, several lines at once will give you a much better overview about your write-only programs. You heard that yesterday already, okay? <laughs> the term. And as mentioned before, your scrolling printing output is unmatched of what you've seen on the calculator up till today, I guess. Well, not entirely true. If you have installed 342 on your smartphone, you know that capability also again. But the smartphone doesn't roll on the 342 display rather than on the smartphone display as you like. The user interface, oh, this again is a fake uh, picture done by me, estimating what may happen. The user interface gives you a dedicated soft menu keys. So the DM42, DM42P is a little bit smaller than the 42S as mentioned already, but it does better use of the available area. Yes, it has a large screen and an additional row of keys, Yet, it's not overly grand, as you may see. A real annoyance of the 42 we consider as backwards from the 41C is uh, the author input. The DM42P provides direct access to the full alphabet. Unfortunately, not so to our indispensable German AOU umlauts. 
<laughs> but also not to the French city <laughs> and the circumflex. Well, but I must admit, the 42S doesn't that either. Needless to say, all characters are available through the alpha menu, of course, as you are used to. And might say addition, I have no idea how lower upper characters work and how you will input uh, numbers and so. So are you so are you saying all the special characters are still available through the alpha yes. menu? Yes. Okay. Uh, therefore I have included the So then your so then your umlauts and everything can be found in there. Yeah. Okay. The idea I think I'm not in the I'm not involved in the uh, development, but when you enter alpha mode with shift enter, you have all the alpha keys available right. and the upper key row that has no labels, gives you access to the normal alpha menu, to the normal, all the alpha characters through the menu. I think that is that could be pretty nice. Advertising. <laughs> okay. So, yes, as I said, for any special characters like masks, that will still lead to the software. So, Moving target, of course, the character on data is not ready yet. I have a prototype with me that is much more than just a mock-up. It always works in a certain sense. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go to the next slide. The CPU is driven by a real-time operating system on which 342 runs as an application. In theory, third parties should be able to add their own apps to the system. 342, of course, needs a lot of work to adjust it to the new environment. This is only possible because 342 is the sided adjustments for 342 to talk to the hardware to provide for the additional I.O. and the improved user interface may or may not become part of the license 342 under GPL. But this is of course not our concern as users, as potential users. brief overview of the hardware. The shell is made of stainless steel with black coating. On this prototype, it is not scratch proof yet. The key tip that we had was first painted yellow, then black, and the characters afterwards burned by laser. The keys are printed using ink that was hardened by ultraviolet or UV light. Like <laughs> is done, like is brought done on the 15th. Oh. And I complained to Michael and said, give us a golden shift key. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes it into consideration. He said, oh, okay, it's a little bit difficult. But, well, wait and see. I have talked about the principal screen characters before. The CPU board features an ARM processor with a speed of up to 80, 80, 80 megahertz while using ultra low, low power. If you look at the data sheet, you will recognize that a lot of features, USB OTG for instance, are not used. This is simply owed to the fact that the CR2032 power cell really is a limiting factor. Therefore, some capabilities of the board are not utilized. 
Besides the fact that on everything that's possible, this makes sense for the calculator. Some functions even are only available with USB power, like SD card access, as I said before. 100K SRAM, as mentioned before, and with the addition of 4 megabyte of flash memory, there are a total of 5 megabyte flash. As I said before, the extra 4 megabyte will necessary to hold the 1.5 megabyte into mass library. What does it mean, low power consumption? These figures are theory. We only have first rough figures from a few test runs. Having the calculator work all the time shows endurance of about 50 hours. Have the calculator switched on and the display active all the time without any operation give you about 2,000 hours. The time the calculator survives in your drawer, in your drawer is unknown. Further tests are necessary, all perhaps calculation theory. Don't forget, the 42P always can be powered through USB. Speed hasn't been tested extensively yet, but here's a simple example. Calculate the great circle distance between two points. This is a lot of scientific functions, sine, cosine, arcus, and so on. And 38 byte program means about 30 seconds for 50 loops on the 40S, and 6 seconds for 500 loops on the 42P. So that's quite a bit difference. Thus, the 42P is 50 times faster than the 42S in the specific example. But the prototype on which I did it perhaps runs at 80 MHz, while usually it is configured to run at 27 MHz. But still, it's an impressive number. In the recent minutes, I have described how the 42P will look like, hopefully, but they are not they're not yet there yet. The team is working hard to achieve all the features mentioned before. We had the choice to present it here right away or miss the opportunity to present it here. The decision was, I'm talking here about it. I'll pass around the 42 in a moment. The upper the keys in the upper half of have a nice response, while in the lower half some misalignment crawl, crawl in. The calculator can't be switched off yet. Therefore, this power bank goes around the calculator. <coughs> to switch the calculator off, simply disconnect the power bank. You heard something like that last time when I talked to you, Abiel, <laughs> uh, last year. It's a prototype after all. By the way, if you've got a smartphone, as I said before, utilize the OTG capability of a smartphone. Meanwhile, work has progressed. They are not overly optimistic to have the DM42P ready before this year's end. A couple of software solutions have to be deferred to later software upgrades. Let us keep the fingers crossed. on the hardware, they are only utilizing uh, the 342 display so far, with the limitations. Uh, no funds are available, but the USB power supply works. There's the CR3032 and the off functions work also. Uh, uh, meanwhile, 
the SD support is not yet implemented, and the printing still needs development. And uh, the dedicated manual keys are not yet ready. So you will have, at the time being, what you have with an HP 42S. But this will be done. Most probably we will not see this micro cylinder, the DM42P, as a potential Christmas gift. Too much still left to do. But they have an idea to make an offer for the first 30 or 40 possible customers to give them to a, at a reduced price in order to have a test bed. So you're paying for a bit of this. Can't say any details on that. The price is estimated between the DM42L, which is about $125, I guess, and less than $200 US dollars, closer to the latter figure. But this is, of course, a very rough estimate. Earlier this day, I talked about new RPL, and, no, oh, yesterday, here it is. Here it says, oh, the day, no, it was yesterday. <laughs> I talked about new RPL and the portability. Can this become a marriage in heaven? Another potential project still waiting for the appropriate hardware is the 43S. Whether it's called WP43S or DM43, we will see at least the number of keys of the DM42 is equivalent uh, to the draft layout shown here. And the screen looks pretty cool. Pretty close. I stole this picture from Jake's presentation last year, <laughs> but the origin is most probably from Walter Bonin. Michael indicated that the produ production line of a different labeling on the calculator shell could be realistic with a minimal order quantity of 50 pieces. So I believe if that would run, 50 pieces wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> now, you've met a new kid. Like all the new kids around, this one also needs education and development to give, to have it grow up so we have fun with it and enjoy its company. Thank you all. <laughs>